We're back on the record with Governor John Sununu. With the he's just written a book, The Quiet Man, on the on the indispensable presidency of George H. W. Bush. When the OTR five quiz, question three is about Donald Trump. He filed financial documents with the federal campaign regulators and set his personal fortune at what? Ten plus billion in caps. When they wrote it, they wrote ten billion. Like yes. they were very proud of it. <laughs> we now have fifteen GOP candidates in the race. We'll talk about whether that's too much, too many, too too large in a minute. But we first we mentioned that Scott Walker was the last one officially announced. Who was the first one? Cruz. Ted Cruz. And we got some fundraising numbers this week. Jeb Bush is way ahead with 119 million raised so far. The second place GOP candidate raised just over 50 million. And number two is cruise again. Cruise again. You cruise to the finals. You cruise. You're to the keeping. OTR you're keeping a quiz. tight watch on this uh, presidential race, aren't you? <laughs> I'm trying not to. <laughs> before we get before we get to that, um, President Obama is aggressively lobbying Congress on the Iran nuclear agreement that was just negotiated this past week. What's your advice to him? You've sat in the seat where you are advising the President of the United States. What would you advise him here? Walk away from it. It's a bad deal. He, he set good criteria when he started this process. He's allowed that criteria to be eroded completely. And, and I think now he is so wedded to the deal that the Iranians took great advantage of him because they knew he'd sign virtually anything. But uh, both President Bush's negotiated nuclear agreements with uh, separately Soviets and Libya. Some would argue both of those worked out pretty well. What's the difference here? Uh, with Libya, we took everything out of Libya. It wasn't just a negotiated agreement. We got the equipment and all the materials out. So, so it but was. But isn't the, more being actually? But it was. It was a good conceded. agreement. It, it, there's nothing wrong with negotiating agreements. Negotiate a good agreement. And the president himself, a couple of years ago, defined what a good agreement would be. If he can get it back to that, fine. But he's already walked so far away from it that it's a bad agreement now. And and it's not that he tried to negotiate that's bad. It's that he ended up with a bad agreement. What, what makes it bad in your eyes? Uh, the, the, it's pretty lax on, on the ins inspection. Uh, it, it has really a, a process in there which allows, after a reasonably short period of time, some say six months, some say a year, the Iranians to get back on that kick. But worse, the worst thing, in my opinion, is the return of these hundred, hundred a billion dollars plus of frozen assets that they're going to use to fund the mischief and the terrorism that they've been funding all along. I really think that, that there should have been a dribbling out of the return of those assets rather than a, a, a very heavy front end loading that they've done. And what do you say to the argument that it is better to have relations with them now and to be able to talk to them and have an open pathway as opposed to uh, certainty of war, at least that's what President Obama I don't thinks. have any problem with, with, with maintaining relations and trying to get to relations, but don't give up a bad, don't go to a bad deal in order to do that. Uh, and, and I just think they negotiated so poorly over time that every, every week with the extension of the deadline, the Iranians got a new concession. And, and now the Americans are going to see hearings in Congress to really define the details. And as always, the devil is in the details. I, I want to put something up on the screen. <coughs> it, it, in and of itself, it, it is amazing. We have a graphic that we want to show you. Take a look at it. There are 15 Republicans who are now officially running for president. That's 15, and John Kasich will get in. That'll make it 16. Who knows where it goes from there? You're an expert on New Hampshire politics. How will Republican voters in the Granite State whittle that down from 15 presidential candidates to, to effectively one or a handful? They'll do what they always do. They work hard. They go to they go to events not only of the candidate they favor, but all the you know most of the other candidates. They go to listen to them. They look them in the eye. They try and address not only what they've accomplished in, on the on the record that they can read, but they try and determine the character. Human. And 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 they want somebody who's a leader. And and they try and do that. One Quit. of the reasons the primary's been so successful over the years is the voters in New Hampshire work hard mm -hmm. to do. Make Give me a good two or choice. three names of people that you know are going to make it towards the fin and make it to the finish line it, it, anyways. I think the handful of governors I mentioned will be in at the end and Rubio will be there at the end. That's that's what I think will be the primary uh, collection. Uh, what do you what do you think of Bernie Sanders? Bernie is is uh, uh, you know Bernie is a charismatic guy. He is collecting all of the anybody but Hillary votes. He will not be the nominee, but he will be the stalking horse. Um, if somebody else, if there's to be a nominee other than Hillary, mm -hmm. Bernie is the stalking horse for either a Biden or a Kerry. Can he or make a Clinton. sizable dent um, on her campaign in, oh, in sure. New Hampshire? Oh, in sure. New Hampshire. In New Hampshire? Yeah, he can. Could he get it. over 10 percent? 
Oh, I think Bernie, it, if it was held right now, I think Bernie would get 15%, 20% on the Democratic primary. Governor, it's, it's always great to have you with us. I, I want to put the book right out here in front so you can see the book one more time. Look, look, look at it. It even stands up on its own. It's The Quiet Man, The Indispensable it's Presidency. It's a Republican book. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> really? What a shock. <laughs> the Indispensable Presidency of George H.W. Bush. Thank you, Governor Sudeikis. Great Thanks to see you. It's always me. great having Thanks, you on the show. Thank you. Our continues in just a minute.